and I call the member for Hughes. Uh, thank you, Speaker. It gives me great pleasure this morning to stand in our great Parliament House and speak on the motion moved by the member for Canning on the relationship between Australia and the USA, which recognises the strong historic relationships that exist between our two countries, especially the ANZUS Treaty, Deputy Speaker, and also our long commitment to freedom, democracy and liberty between our two nations. We start, Deputy Speaker, back during the First World War, the Battle of Hamel, when Australian General John Monash was actually given the responsibility to be in charge of American troops. One of the few times in history that a foreign general has been in charge of American armed forces. And that honour was given to Sir John Monash. And when he had that responsibility, he did so magnificently. A most successful campaign, a successful defeat of the German enemy in World War I. Then, our relationship in the Battle of the Coral Sea, when again an Australian naval, Navy Admiral was placed in charge of American vessels. And again, Deputy Speaker, Australians and Americans fighting side by side, having what some in the Coral Sea, even though on paper it was not an historic victory, it went on to be one of the great turning points of the war that guaranteed the freedom for our nation. Through to Korea, Vietnam, we still stood side by side with our American friends. Vietnam, often an unpopular war, Deputy Speaker, but gave the fledging democracies of the Asian nations a chance to establish themselves. Often the Vietnam War is criticised, but if we look at the words of the Singaporean President Lee Kuan Yew and how he said that time was so important to put a halt onto the march of communism and to give Deputy Speaker nations like Singapore the opportunity to develop and progress into the successful democracies that they are. And of course, Deputy Speaker, we see today uh, the Americans under their new president, Deputy Speaker, having enormous economic success. In fact, we only look uh, last week, US con consumer sentiment unexpectedly has surged to a 13-year high, as they note, as, as Americans' perceptions of the economy and their own finances have rebounded following several major hurricanes. The jump in sentiment, greater than any of the analysis uh, predicted, was the result of falling gasoline prices, a repeated record highs for the stock market, a 16-year low in unemployment and a post-storm recovery efforts which have rebounded economic growth. Deputy Speaker, but there is a few points that we have differed uh, with our American friends. One of those areas, of course, is in competition law. America, the home of free market capitalism, has divestiture powers in their competition law or antitrust law. <coughs> they also have which divestiture powers which we do not have here in Australia. America also has an act called the Robertson Patman Act, which is a, a prohibition on anti competitive price discrimination. Our competition laws, Deputy Speaker, have no such equivalent provision. But, Deputy Speaker, although we share many great successes in the US with the US over the last century. Today, we share many of those challenges. We see the same threats to our democracy, threats to freedom and liberty, Deputy Speaker, that come about with our cultures being under attack. We see groups, Deputy Speaker, both in Australia and America, smearing our founders, belittling our nation's accomplishments, pillaring it for failing to live up to the ideas that we hold. Deputy Speaker, we see in both nations those that mock our most sacred tr traditions and those that deride our heroes. Deputy Speaker, we need America to be strong. What makes America strong, Deputy Speaker, also makes the nation of Australia strong as well. America is truly our greatest friend. It has been, Deputy Speaker, 
for the last century. And I hope that with the work of this parliament that it can be for the I next century. The I thank the House.